Welcome today to Outdoors with Randy Mangum. Uh, if you're anything like me, you've been waiting for Lake Powell to open for about uh, a month and a half. It's just killing us. Well, it's just like the opener of the deer hunt right now. Opening morning is Friday morning, so you're probably preparing. Just thought I'd give you a, a couple of items that we found to be like smoking baits for this time of year. We have spawning bass and people have not been pressuring them, so it's going to be great. However, if there are still high numbers of shad, we're probably going to run into some issues as far as the 100 fish count days, but who cares? This is going to be great. So a couple of things that I like to use that could help you out as well. Now, I'll be fishing with floral carbon. I love this P-line floral carbon. Eight pound, six pound if you're just doing, you know, some of your lighter baits, uh, your finesse worms, your wackies, things like that. But um, yeah, and then I also have two setups that I'll primarily be fishing with. I like to uh, fish a lot of wackies, so I might use these uh, octopus octopus uh, circle hooks, uh, size two. That's just my favorite. I know everyone has their own idea of what to use with their wacky rigs, and then. I love these uh, these mushroom tip jig heads for fishing my Z-mans and my Ned rigs. So just a couple of quick baits to show you that just rock this time of year. Uh, if you're in really clear water, um, I would recommend if you're going to use something like a wacky rig, the Yamamoto shorter uh, wacky worms in the color 926. That's going to be key down at Pal. And then fishing that with a light line on one of these hooks will be smoking. Now, if you're in darker water, use something like goby uh, that or baby bass. That tends to do really well in the darker waters. Again, light line is going to be key. We'll show you some ideas. Now, if you want to just fish quick and get your line out there, not have to wait for it to drop. Uh, one thing that we found really effective this time of year as well are these Ned rigs. Now. Something like the Blue Claw is really good. It has a little red in it, but then it also has a little gray, so it gives the imitation of the shad plus the red to just get these fish on fire. So that's a really good color. And then another is just the Green Pumpkin Gobi. That's another uh, color we use. Now it is important if you are fishing the Ned Rigs that you use one of these Z-Mans or a floating style of worm so that you get a good presentation with your uh, mushroom head jig head. So again, these are Ned Rig jig heads and the Z-Man floating shorter worms work well at PAL in my opinion. You get better hookups and uh, yeah, not too shabby. So I know there's a lot of people that have a lot of ideas. Those are just two quick baits that work really well for us. And uh, yeah, just excited to get out there. So comment. Uh, let me know how you guys did this weekend, if you made it down. If not, uh, we'll probably see you down there next weekend as well. We're going to spend the next couple of weeks down there just hammering it out. So enjoy it while we've got it, right? Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, we'll bring you back here on the lake here in a few, uh, in a few days. Thanks.